the mission is to one, articulate what other people can't. Number two, to utilize cases all through the state and make concrete um, statements of how they all on principle relate and to make sure that people understand that it is systematically abused by legislators and litigating agencies by either ignoring or refusing to act. So when did you start it? 20 or almost 20 years ago. I haven't always had it registered. I mean, there were some years I wasn't very active or some years I might have been somewhere where I couldn't just keep doing it. But uh, I've always done some portion of social reform work for the last 20 years, whether learning, listening to people, studying, going through something. And now I learned that a lot of experiences that I've had was so I can articulate this because I can say I've been there. I did it. I, I know personally. And so from that experience, it's not a textbook. I don't have to rely on somebody's research. I don't, I mean, this is real life. These are court documents. And I do these from court documents too. So legislation will eventually be placed to take care of these gaps that are here. It's the end goal. Because without these court documents, then there's a lot of argument of who knew what, who didn't. Uh -uh -uh. These, these are all stamped. I mean, this is what happened. So I'm basically just a narrator of all this information. I'm letting these documents tell the story. And eventually I'll take the documents and start just going, right now I'm just doing the overview of it, which is a lot within itself, let alone to try to tear through one of these and match up the statues with the thing, because I don't want it to get boring. So when I do start breaking stuff down, I want to at least have enough people's attention be like, dang, okay, well, I wonder about that part or, you know, or, you know, pretty much I hope they watch all the videos from start to finish. But I just need to give people an overview of how deep it is. And yeah, it's this deep. So in the end, to say that nobody knew, ignorance won't be a defense. You know, to say if these things weren't timely filed, you know, to have an argument to say that I failed because I've done this for a long time. Now, you wouldn't expect somebody out in the street, even though they say people out there should know the law like I do, to protect themselves. And I say that's true to a point, but the people that they were in front of preyed on the law as well to make sure that they didn't know. So either way, if you claim them for negligence of ignorance, there's still a clause there that even if they pursue, like I did, they still gonna end up the same way anyway. So I'm gonna try to argue if those petitions, even if they didn't fight them and they got a judgment, I'm gonna try to argue based on the people in them and what's said. If it doesn't meet the standard of the petition file, like if they don't have the attachment, don't have the evidence, kick them. Whether they didn't say anything or not kick them because the attorney, when they file certain things like this, they abuse their ethics. This isn't a legal document. So if you base their eviction on an illegal document, whether they said anything or not, this doesn't make the value to even bring the petition to court to make illegal eviction. Kick the judgment. Can't have it both ways. You can't cheat and do stuff illegally and get a legal judgment out of it. All this cheating I'm sick of. So that's why the organization exists is to uncover those injustices? I exist to give comfort to people that need help and need an ear that nobody will listen to or <clears throat> they can't mentally process an answer to give them that will answer their problem. And I think that's very important because it's hard when you have no one to talk to that will take you seriously when you're really trying to explain something. So number one, I want to be a comfort to people. It's, I call it the silent pain. Number two, because I've been through it. There are certain things, I mean, a lot of cases I won't take. If I feel they're lying or cheating, if anything wiggles my ear, they're out. But I also want to make sure that there's a distinction because I want to find people like me who believe that maybe you wasn't so hot back in the day. Maybe you wasn't the greatest person. Okay, but you ain't that person now. You still being treated like you was back in the day. Right. I mean, everybody's been through that. Nobody's perfect. But to treat a person as if they're the same person, what's the point of changing? 
And I think that's a lot of what the problem is out in society is people are just treated the same and there's never any respect. And when they try to reach for the stars or kick back down on the first floor and all they got is a balcony. And it's sad. Most people think that balcony really means something. Yeah. But baby, you still on the first floor. You ain't went nowhere.